Hey everybody, my name is Jay, and this is I have a Samurai. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a few matches that I am not involved in. This is going to be Link Gores playing Grow on the left versus Sane playing Ivy on the right. This occurred at NLBC last Wednesday. Uh, this is the last two games of uh, the Grand Final set. Uh, you guys might remember that uh, I think in the last video that I made that I said that I was going to be taking a step away from Grow and that uh, the next few videos I was going to be doing were going to be about Geralt. Those videos are coming, but at the same time, you shouldn't necessarily trust uh, what people say. Um, you shouldn't just take it at face value. This is an important lesson, not just in Soul Calibur, but just overall. The main takeaway is that you shouldn't just trust what people have to say about these kinds of things. Um, Linkors and Sane have been in grand final sets in virtually every local uh, to like the Northeast that have occurred. This is in New York. They're both uh, from New York, but they also compete in Jersey tournaments. You guys, if you followed Soul Calibur Six at all, you've probably seen both of these guys in top eights everywhere. They were pretty notable players in Soul Calibur Five as well, winning quite a few uh, tournaments. And uh, I'm expecting them to do really well at NEC. Um, they always fight against each other, and Linkors has voiced his disdain, much like everybody else, uh, about Ivy, the character. Uh, he picked up Grow specifically to play against Ivy, uh, as far as I know. Um, and Ivy, for the longest time, was literally the only character that he had ever lost to in tournaments. So he even has a larger amount of frustration f uh, of the character than, than even I do. Um, you guys might remember that Sane is the Ivy player who beat me up in the last video that I did, which was at a Jaxal Dome a handful of weeks ago. Um, like I said, these are the last two games uh, where he picked Grow. It's important to note that this was on Wednesday. Uh, the previous Tuesday, he had played Grow against Sane's Ivy, and I believe won at the 8 on the break tournament. And then in winner's finals of this tournament, he played Grow and beat Sane. Uh, this time around, Sane has already reset the bracket. He's already forced uh, Link Wars to play Siegfried in the first few matches of the reset grand final set. And in all of them, he's pretty much doing pretty well. Uh, Sane has snowballed the momentum to the point where um, even Linkors in the middle of the set is messaging me saying, like, I can't handle this character. I don't know what to do. And, like, the initial advice that I gave him was just, like, hey, if at all possible, just try to, like, take a break, even just for a minute, go to the character select screen. You don't even have to think about anything. In fact, thinking about nothing is probably a good thing to do. If any of you guys are amateur tournament players or haven't really gone to a lot of tournaments I strongly suggest trying to take your time as much as possible don't get caught up in the energy don't get caught up in the moment because there were plenty of tournaments when I first started where I would be playing and I'd be losing I would immediately go into rematch and I had no idea what was going on I never thought about it and before the match before I could think about it the match was over and then I remember like ideas and thoughts and new moves and new setups and everything would come bubbling up in my head like 30 minutes after the match was over and I thought, man, I really wish that I had just at least just took some time to think about things, just to refresh my brain and to potentially cool out my opponent, though that's kind of a uh, kitschy thing to do. So uh, in this situation, I found the, some of the things that I told him before these next uh, few occurring matches uh, happened that uh, he seemed very terrified virtually any time that he wasn't 100% in the driver's seat. This is Link, or as I'm saying. Um, Link is so petrified of when Ivy has the momentum because Ivy could potentially make him guess wrong and then he loses half of his life. And that's all true, and he is justifiably terrified, but at the same time, he can't necessarily make that dictate what is happening uh, on the screen. Because if you do, then there's no, I mean, you've already lost. You've already established in your head that you're going to be defeated by a ridiculous character. If you really want, this is the game that you decided to play. Grow is the character you've decided to play with. So it's time to, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Um, so why don't we try to Let's get this started? So he needs to, obviously he's going to be playing the aggressive character versus the defensive uh, character, so he needs to get in as much as possible. On paper, it makes sense that Grow would do well against Ivy, but I think due to the mechanics and the defensive nature of Soul Calibur VI, I'm not necessarily convinced of that. This is one of the other things that he uh, didn't used to do as much as uh, I 
would have hoped he would. I see a lot of grow players when they think that their opponent is going to stand still or potentially like duck for uh, for a low that grow has. They will do three B, which isn't all that great. I mean, it's you know it's unsafe. I understand it's a bit fast and you could potentially catch them ducking, but I think it's much better to do something like what you just saw Link do there, which is A plus B, because you may not necessarily catch their duck, but guard damage is a really important thing for uh, for grow, and I think it's important to establish really early that uh, you should be doing a lot of guard breaks because Grow's guard breaks are the best in the game, I would say. So he already has the, uh, well, he used to have the stage positioning and then he got hit by that. This is one thing that Ramon, I think, talked about earlier on in the set. Uh, Ramon was one of the people who was commentar uh, commentating the match live, is that I wasn't actually aware, but all of those uh, whips that, uh, that Ivy can do in succession... If she doesn't get, like, the break attack last one, literally any of them are going to be unsafe. So if she doesn't get the final last one where you definitely can't press a button, you could uh, you could punish her, or at the very least you could start, you know, going on with your own pressure. Grow peppering Ivy with a lot of hits. He likes to use 3A, which you saw there. Um, I don't necessarily use 3A, if only because I just can never think of it. I never think of that as a move to use. Size to back. You guys kind of saw that Link decided to back off because Link is a defensive player by nature. But then he realized that he was playing against Ivy. So even if he wanted to get away so that he didn't have to worry about a reverse ring out, he realized that if Ivy gets like one hit, he's basically <laughs> like in uh, death territory of like, you know, he just gets hit twice and, and it's over. So he decided to go back in, which I thought was funny. We'll work our way yeah, I guess he was a little. He was anticipating uh, that six six a hold a little bit too much. He also uses six six a plus b there, which I think is a really smart move to use against characters like Ivy and like you know the long range zoners to try and get in. Something that I don't use as as much as I should. Ooh, six b b into a stance. He got lucky that Sane didn't uh, punish that. Peppering more. But uh, Sane is disrespecting uh, certain Grow situations pretty well. Not a lot. A lot of people will get terrified when Grow is right in his face, um, and not like fight. Um, this is one of the other things that I like that Link does. Um, it's a stance transition that I never think to use, uh, which is bad. In uh, in Grow Soul Charge is 4B plus K. It's really long, and it's actually something that not a lot of people use. So people get kind of tripped up by it. I basically only use 6AA to go into like teleport stance transitions, and uh, it's it's okay. But uh, I don't know why I don't use the other ones. Um, he has a he has a handful that are all right. Run up into 66B. I like that he's trying to catch Ivy throwing out a vertical and using like the auto side step. Doing more guard pressure, catches the side step. He goes for 6BB rather than 44B uh, four four plus K, which I think is smart. Um, in case you guys haven't seen that unblockable setup before, in most situations, that's going to catch you. Uh, I have seen, though, that there are either I am not pressing the unblockable fast enough off of the 2-2-B two, two lethal hit, or you can actually roll that away to a certain angle. I believe it's to the right. But I'm not a million percent sure on that. Please let me know if I'm wrong and that it, that, that is guaranteed in some situations. Oh, there! I, I wish that he hadn't done 6BB there. Let me let me go back just a little bit. So he had hit the unblockable. Oh, I didn't mean to go back that far. But uh, he he did the unblockable off of the 2-2B lethal hit, and then put himself in a situation at the edge where he went with 6BB, uh, hoping to catch a mash. And I really wish that he hadn't like gone that far. I wish he hadn't committed to that degree. Yeah, like right there. He tried to catch him either going for a jump. This is something that you're not really seeing in this uh, in this one game, but in most of the rest of the set, Sane was jumping a lot. He loves to do random jumps. He loves to do random ducks because he gets rewarded so heavily on them. Not to mention, uh, it's probably the reason why in most situations I would advise the Grow player that I'm watching right now to, hey, you should use like 2A plus B a lot more because 2A plus B is really good. It's a, it's a, it's a good break attack that's uh you know it's low it's hard to you know take control of but because sane was jumping so much that's probably why he's not using it very often here but the main point that i wanted to get at here is that he used 6bb to as like a meaty and i really wish that even though it wouldn't have killed just to use like a b because now you're in a situation where he can like punish you or you have to kind of commit to like a stance thing and if you commit to something slow then you're going to get reverse wrung out and i would have much rather been less of a commitment 
um, or wholeheartedly commit if you wanted to and go with 66B plus K, hoping that you get the guard break. I, I If he thought about that at all and decided that it wasn't going to guard break, in which case it wasn't worth the risk, then I agree. But it would have been cool if that ended up being the case for uh, for the potential guard break. Yeah, so he ends up getting the throw. Ivy's ring out's still pretty scary. This is one of the other things that I love that Link Wars does and that I remember noting when I was watching this uh, as it was happening is that in most situations where Ivy has the knockdown, especially with uh, Sane, he likes to use the mix-up of the 2A plus G teleport grab or the mid that looks very similar to it. And in order to get away from that, he will, uh, Link Wars will roll forward into the opponent into the Ivy player to uh, to mash. Not a lot of people recognize that spacing uh, that quickly. And uh, Link Wars ends up getting the game. I just wish that he hadn't committed so heavily to that to that one. But other than that, it was a 100% uh, perfect set uh, for that for that game. I think they wait a little while, so I'm gonna see if I can like cut ahead. You want to see a whole new grand final? But yeah, it was it was definitely he was definitely getting terrified uh, about the combos that Ivy could pull off um, at most ranges right, before, here and here he's actually being in control virtually the entire set. He catches uh, he catches the vertical again. Oh, that was weird. He also, uh, Sane didn't punish the 3B, so that would be something that's important to note. This is exactly what Linkers was terrified the entire time, and rightfully so. Look at that damage. That's ridiculous. This is one of the other things that Sane likes to do, uh, in case you ever play against Sane, is that he will use grabs. That was just a normal grab. He meant to do a command grab. He will use grabs defensively, knowing that his opponent's going to try and rush in uh, to take advantage of the frame advantage they have because you whiffed. Because you're so far away from Ivy, it's difficult to uh, whiff punish, especially with Grow. So it adds on another layer of uh, defense where if Linkors is not 100% on top of things, then he's just going to get grabbed. And that's bad news. Catches the jump. That's kind of what I was talking about. There's one of the vintage, kind of like what I talked about in my last video, is 66BB going wildly off track to the point where you just, uh, your, your pressure is 100% done. You can't actually catch rolls. Gro is not very good at, at catching rolls in, in that situation. I'm surprised that he got up to block that A plus B. Had uh, Sane just stayed on the ground, uh, that would have been uh, probably game over. Uses the auto side stuff from the 66B again, but unfortunately gets punished by the uh, the A plus B again. Wish that he hadn't committed so heavily. Uh, Ivy had enough life to where if he had gotten hit by like a BB, he probably would have still lived. But I think it's important to pepper with even further attacks. I feel like there are some situations here, especially when Sane is on a low amount of life, that Sane uh, that Linkors is going for something that's going to definitely kill, just going for a kill stroke. Um, but that's uh, not going to be all that great if he misses his uh, sure footing and doesn't remain 100% solid and safe. All the way out to get away from the 6-6-A hold, I guess. Plus frames into a potential like wall hit. Let's see what he does with this. Again, the 4-B plus K, I like that. Tries to catch the sidestep. The fact that he made Ivy block is definitely a lot better than uh, ugh, what just happened there. Um, that's one of the things that is so terrifying playing again, uh, playing as Grow, is that you could be wrong on a sidestep and it's over. Like, had uh, Sane been 100% prepared, there's a chance that uh, he could have gotten wrung out in that situation. You know, continuing pressure, not just against Ivy, but against all characters, when you are at the edge and you're doing stance pressure, it's so scary. I would argue that it's probably best not to even try to do stance stuff when your opponent's right there uh, at the back of the edge, because he... Uh, for one, you leave the opportunity to, for you to do like 6AA, which can ring them out, or 6AA, which can ring out at certain uh, spots. Um, but like stance mix ups at the ring edge can potentially be very risky, um, like in oh just in that situation. Now, this is one situation that you will see from Glo Grow players against Ivy players quite a lot. Uh, you saw them, uh, you saw Ivy do the coil which he'll do after he like stepped the B and then got his combo. And you'll see that Link tries to, so he gets hit and then he tries to do a 6A, right? Um, 
and he probably also meant to do uh, a 66A um, because it looks like spatially it makes a lot of sense and it's something that hits me a lot as well where I get hit by the coil and then I want to try and punish their slow follow-up with a 66A or a 6A because it looks like it should hit but because Ivy's like slightly tech crouching down and because both 6A and 66A are highs it's really more of a situation where uh, Grow essentially just has to eat the mix-up at that point. You got hit by the coil, and you're just going to have to eat whatever comes at you next. You're not going to be able to challenge like you would like a stereotypical so aggressive character. He's got his uh, guard blinking, but he doesn't really have a lot of meter, so he's not going to be able to make the, uh, the break hurt a lot. BB, I like that. He does soul charge, so you automatically have to end your pressure and gets hit by... The 2A plus G. Once again, kind of like the situations that, are, that that make it so difficult for an aggressive character to really continue pressure. It's like you just use the soul charge and you completely have to back off. You're at, even if he knew 100% that the soul charge was coming, there's nothing you can do about it. Other than like he has to play neutral against Ivy again. There's that 4A. That's the one of the two safe uh, transitions on block. Punishes the potential ring out. Linkors, actually, both Linkors and Saint have really good defense. I'm not sure if it's entirely like them playing against each other because they've played against each other so many times, or that's just how it is against these two guys. This is one of the other things that, kind of going off of the other thing that Saint loves to do, is like he loves to do command grabs. He loves to do command grabs when he soul charges because people are worried about, like, you know, the, uh, the back and forth after you've been pushed out a little bit. But he will also, his opponent will activate soul charge and he will run in and do command grab. Um, which is something that I remember us talking about where I told him, like, hey, like, why not just do command grabs like so much more as a, like a defensive tool to keep people from like dashing in? He was like, oh, yeah, you're right. And uh, I kind of wish that I didn't tell him that. Hold your hands up in the air for Link. So let's see if uh, he can pull it off. He does 3B into BB, which is really unfortunate. I'm sorry, I'm having a heart attack, boys. So once again, like, he had a position where he could, he had a kill shot against Ivy, and he went for an unsafe 3B. Had Sane been more, had he, had he blocked it, it, it would have been all over. I wish that he had stayed a little bit. Why not go into more stance transition? Why not do the 4B plus K? Because you were already trying to, like, you were already doing that so well. Now is the question, like, he was trying to keep him keep that uh, guard break so that he wouldn't break Ivy's guard, in which case he should have gone for a low rather than a 3B because the 3B can can break it as well. Um, so, you know, I kind of wish again that he didn't commit so heavily, even though it ended up working in like a weird scrambly kind of thing. I wish that he had gone for something a little bit smaller or more stance teleport pressure. Because he hasn't really been ducking the, the teleport A like all that much. Maybe even going with uh, 2A plus B from like a farther range. <laughs> Something to think about. Probably going to go into stance so that he can, yeah, do more block pressure. Yeah, he goes for a 2A. I'm not sure what he meant to do there. And he's getting kind of chewed up. Yeah, the coil can be kind of an issue for, for Gro. Oh, he was a little bit late on that. And it's a good punish by Sane. Great blocks on these uh, low verticals. All right, so he's going to be trying, like, four, yeah, he's doing 3B, 4-4-B to try and, uh, 4-4-B to try and, like, get the guard break and stuff, and it ends up not working. That ended up clinching the game for Sane. So I remember Link and I having a long conversation uh, about this set afterwards, and to be honest, like, if it was Linkors, and I was just talking to Linkors, I would say, like, hey, man, you two play all the time, you beat him the last time, you lost this time. It's going to happen. You guys play so much that you're probably just going to go back and forth quite a lot. The only thing that I really talked to him about, um, other than the fact that like you're not really great to use stance pressure when the opponent is at the wall because you kind of put in your position where you're being really risky, um, probably just less commitment to certain moves. He got a little bit too antsy for that guard break here. He got a little bit too antsy for it in the previous round. And there were a handful of times where if he had just gone with stuff that is like a 3A, 3K, stuff like that where you, yeah you're not going to do a lot of damage in fact virtually nothing at all compared to what Ivy can do but if what you are scared of is Ivy guessing right about something and punishing you really heavy with it then I think the option at least for a grow player is to use moves that aren't necessarily a bet at all like make it so that you really can't be wrong doing things like 3A and um 
and 3k like he's not using reversal edge really all that much so just pepper him with moves that are safe that even if uh, you're wrong he can't really punish you all that heavily for it if he guesses right 100% on a sidestep from like a 3k he's probably going to go for the the lethal hit and you're probably going to be able to recover in time unless Sane is like really that on top of things then it's not really going to work so less commitment more with peppering fast kind of moves because even though it's not going to be as rewarding it's going to be significantly less risky and especially with the way that the game is right now it seems like maintaining a low level of risk against an Ivy player is the way to go even though it's going to be very frustrating it takes an extraordinary level of patience because if you're going to try to beat an Ivy player with just things like 1k 3k 3a AA you're going to have to hit him somewhere between two and three trillion times before you win one round meanwhile you're always going to have to deal with the fact that Ivy can just pop out a soul charge and reset to neutral where you die in two hits um, so is Grow really the solution? On paper, it sounds like it would be, but I just don't think it's... Uh, I'm not necessarily convinced, as I said earlier, that that's going to be the case when playing in Soul Calibur VI, at least with the the way the game is now. Uh, Link Ors had mentioned that he just jokingly said, yeah, maybe I should just play Mina to play uh, against Ivy, and honestly, I think that's really the best bet. It's one of the things that I'm trying to do, too. So uh, that's how uh, these, uh, this set match uh, went, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. All right, thanks very much.